Hi, I'm Carlos Dominguez, Senior Tools Engineer at Qualcomm Technologies. Today, I'm going to show you how to capture an OpenCL application with Snapdragon Profiler, so you can understand how your OpenCL app performs on a device powered by a Snapdragon processor. After opening Snapdragon Profiler, open the connection dialog and connect to your device. For troubleshooting connecting to a device and other information, please refer to our Quick Start Guide, FAQ, or introductory video on Qualcomm Developer Network's Snapdragon Profiler page. Depending on the application being captured and the desired behavior, additional setup steps may be required before running your app. If the application to be captured is command line and capture from the beginning is desired, the enable blocking option must be set before running the application. Once set, the application will pause execution until Snapdragon Profiler begins the capture. Note, you can also enable buffer and image transmission, which I'll demonstrate later on. Snapdragon Profiler includes an OpenCL preset layout for easier access to all views relevant to OpenCL. First, click on the New Trace Capture button on the Start page to open and focus the New Capture window. Select your application in the Process list. An OpenCL Trace metric will appear in the Metrics tree view. Next, Enable the OpenCL trace and as many other metrics as desired from the OpenCL metrics category and start a capture. Note, if the application being captured is command line, execution will be resumed on the given app. Stop capture when you would like and note if the application finishes execution, Snapdragon Profiler will automatically stop the capture for you. Then. Wait for the data to get transferred and processed by Snapdragon Profiler. A progress indicator will show up at the bottom right corner of the Snapdragon Profiler window. Once finished, a trace capture will appear organized by thread on the host and per context and device on the GPU. Links will be shown between calls that either wait or complete events. Elements can also be selected to view more detailed information about the element in the trace view. If buffer and image transmission was enabled, an additional track will also be shown with markers where data bound to the given buffers might have been modified. This data can be visualized by clicking on a marker and looking at the selected buffer data on the buffer or image viewer respectively. The buffer viewer can be customized to better suit the data being visualized. The amount of rows and columns per page can be modified to better align the data and the display format can also be changed to match the most common use cases. Trace data with API calls, return values, parameters, and metric calculations will appear on the trace view. Note that metrics are only calculated on relevant calls. The Resources view will list all resources that were gathered during the captured period. Details about these resources can be displayed on the Inspector view by clicking on the respective resources. Programs additionally display static code analysis within the Inspector view as well as the containing kernels within the Source view. Thank you for watching. Visit Qualcomm Developer Network to download and learn more about the latest releases for Snapdragon Profiler.